My name's Bob Buecher. I'm the Executive Director of the Valley Performing Arts Center, and I'm the Dean of the Mike Kerr College of Arts, Media, and Communication. The VPAC offers CSUN students a number of things. I think the first thing I need to talk about is that a major part of the building is actually for the curriculum. There are a large number of students who actually go to class in the VPAC building every single day. The radio station studio is in the VPAC, and then the theater apartment has a lot of presence. They have an experimental theater. They have a new tech shop over there where they build sets. There's a new costume studio. They have a room upstairs where they do their 3D imaging. Then in the Great Hall, we do concerts in there every year that are sponsored by this office and the president's office. Students always get on any event a 40% discount on any seat. Those are a number of ways that we actually work with the campus to make sure students, and actually faculty and staff also, have that opportunity to be in the space. The goal of the building in the Valley was a dream 50 years ago. People were talking about the fact that for 50 years the Valley had been trying to kind of get itself organized to develop something like the Valley Performing Arts Center. And what really happened during the tenure of the former president, Dr. Kester really decided this was something she wanted to do. That this was a legacy she wanted to leave to the San Fernando Valley from her time here as president. The future for the VPAC is very varied future. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things going on. When it comes to programming, all of next year is already programmed. I have many contracts completed Probably 30% of the 13-14 season is also already scheduled. One of the things about the VPAC that we really haven't explored is it was designed to show film. It was designed for film screenings. And we're just now beginning to get some interest to actually screen film in the facility, and it was designed to do that. The Valley Performing Arts Center is actually a symbol for the Valley. The fact that it took 50 years for the Valley to coalesce and to put together enough of a coalition to make this building possible is a very significant achievement. Our vision was that it would become the commons for the Valley. It would be the place where, where the Valley really comes when something really important is going on. And it's beginning to have that. It's, that's, it's developing that reputation. But it's, it's very, very important to the community. And so the center is, is, is very much about where is that place in the valley that people have a tremendous amount of pride in and the place they think of as a, a convening place for the valley. Just before spring break, we finished the 2012-13 season. These performances are a good example of what, what we try to bring in in terms of our season, which is a cross section of the very best of the performing arts in a number of different genres. What I told to the former president, Jolene Tester, when I came here and she was recruiting me for this job, I said, Jolene, you're building a performing arts center on this campus that has the capacity to be the center of the community. So our idea with programming is that we're bringing in the very best. We want the students, the faculty, and the staff, and of course the community beyond the campus to have the experience of seeing the very best performing artists that are available in the world today.